Okay. <clears throat> Alright, today's lesson, folks, is going to be on... These are cool. Today we're going to be looking at the 2008 reading task. It's called Reading Answer Booklet, Rain and Shine. Okay? And make sure you get your booklets open. Don't close your booklets. You're going to need them to answer the questions. Okay. So these questions are about the hottest day, pages 3 to 7. Choose the best word or group of words to fit the passage and put a ring around your choice. The girl gamut looked up at the sky on that, what kind of morning was it? It was a hot, it was a hot morning. So, hot morning. It had not rained for weeks and that made Garnet hopeful, angry, tired or happy made her. Angry. She's angry. Why, why isn't it raining? It's affecting them. She's feeling hot. The crops were failing. Okay, sorry for that. She went to collect the mail with her neighbor, a girl called, what's the name of the girl? Noor. Okay. However, the letters in the mailbox were not real ones. They were, okay, let's have Ismail. They were bills. Why do they call them letters? Because the letter like somebody's writing something to you and informing you, oh, we're doing this, uh, we are a family, we're coming over. Or oh, you get something which you want to receive. Does anybody want to receive bills? No. No. no okay, have you got all those four answers down? Yes. Good. Okay, let's go up a bit. Okay, let's get the board right back. Nobody sees the water there. Is this the recording? Yes. Sir. Can you stop scrolling? Let me know. Let me stop being scared. Okay. Back at the house. Garnet's mother decided to open the letters, answer the letters, give the letters to Father Lee, or hide the letters. Right, okay, yeah. Hide the letters. Okay, hide the letters. Let's have a look. Yeah. Why did she want to hide the letters? Because she didn't want her. Uh, uh, yeah, she didn't want her husband to get in the first. <laughs> Okay. Now these weren't really like the bills. Okay, uh, there you go. She wished that she didn't have to give those bills to her father, so her mother told her to do what? Hide them. Hide them. Hide them. So that her father would have a nice Correct. Good. Right. So we said back at the house, Garnet's mother decided to hide the letters. Garnet helped to get supper ready, but everyone was too hot to eat. They all went to bed. Later on that night, she was woken up by the sound of thunder and then heard the... Rainfall. Rain falling. So the first couple of questions are nice and... Easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay. Explain fully why Garnet wanted it to rain. So you got to think about how she feels herself, what she's thinking about, where they live, how she feels, for example, for the farm and stuff. So let's get some feelings on Ismail in the corner first. Ismail is. She felt. She felt she how did she feel? She felt. She was very hot physically herself. Yeah, she was hot. 
Look here, Wiles. The crops were dying. The crops were failing. The crops <coughs> were about to fail, to die, to fail, yeah? The crops needed the land in there. And what do you do when you get the crops? When you get the crops and you sell the crops you get, money. what do they need the money for to pay for the Failure. bills? Money was needed from the sale of the crops. Of the crops to do what? To pay the bills. <coughs> pay the bills. Okay. So that's it, that's enough, yeah? So he explained that she was very hot, it hadn't rained for some time, the crops were about to draw, to die, money was needed from the sale of the crops to pay for the bills, all the bills were piling up. So there was a lot of stress involved. Okay, should we write this one down? He explained fully what Ghana wanted to rain. Ghana was very hot. Yeah, she felt hot. Okay, God was very hot. Okay. It hadn't rained for how long? Two weeks or so, for some time. Okay. So the crops were about to die. Okay? The bills are piling up, yes? Okay, so Ghana was very hot. It hadn't rained for some time. The temperature was really warm. She felt really hot. The crops were about to die. The bills needed paying. The bills needed paying. Rain was needed for the crops, and the crops were needed to pay the bills. So there was like this kind of cycle of in there. Garnet was very hot. She felt very hot. It hadn't rained for some time. The crops were about to die. The bills needed paying. The rain was needed for the crops. The crops were needed to pay the bills. It's like a cycle. Okay. okay. Are we happy with that? Yeah. So for that question, then we look at the ideas in the text. She was too hot. The crops, the money, and also the the bills. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, next question. Question number eight. On page number five, Garnet and Centrella, Centrella talked about their daydreams. What did their daydreams have in common with Garnet's dream on page seven? So let's have a quick flick. Right. Okay, what page did the tennis look at? Five. Which page is? Five, want to compare which page is page? Page 5 and? Seven. Page 7. So in page 5, no, no, don't pay up. Let everybody get chance to Find the answers, yeah? Okay, I'm mean, going to give you the answers right now. Everybody have a chance to look at the connection between page 5 and page 7. So the ones who've done it before, uh, oh, oh, good luck to you. The ones who haven't done it, find the answer. 
So on page five, if you look over here, wait a minute, sister, I might as well see if there's any mail for us to. This let's make me wish. Okay, the question goes by them daydreaming, is that right? Yes. Yeah, daydreaming and wishing is the same thing. When you wish something, you're thinking about something. So if find a waterfall somewhere, one that poured lemonade instead of water. So what were they dreaming about? Lemonade. Water, flowing water, flowing lemonade, something cool, refreshing. Okay? Wish, daydreaming. So in the question, in the question it says, the Ghana's widow had told about their daydreams. What did they daydream have in common with Ghana's dream on page 7? So this is the daydream from page 5. So page 5, they are thinking about water, cool drinks. Okay. Right, that's what they're thinking about here. What's one thing about? I'd rather be up on the Alps at Ghana. That's another daydream. I'd rather be. She turned me out. I'm thinking of being somewhere else. You know, one of these mountains they have there's snow on top of them on the hottest day of summer. We are sitting in the snow looking miles. So again, thinking about mountains, snowy mountains, okay, on a hotter day. Summer cool. Yeah, summer cool. The thing about coolness, the dream about being cold, nice and cool. I call it cool, because they're very hot. Okay, that's the idea, theme on page five. Let's go to page seven. Page seven. Okay, page seven. I'm going to rub off this one in the middle. So page seven, it says, with Garner's dream on page seven. What was Garner dreaming about on page seven? It says that late in the night, Ghana woke up with a strange before that. After a while, she fell asleep. There you go. There's the text. And dreamed. They actually used the word dream from the question in the text. When previously he said, I'd like to. Yeah? I'm... And dreamed that she was in a rowing boat on a wide, flat ocean. What is in an ocean? Water. Yeah. Water. What was the common theme? Water. 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 Okay. The common theme here is? Okay. The table here. So, are we happy with the idea there's lots of water in both dreams? Yeah. Cool water? Okay, let's go back to the text. Page seven and an ocean on page seven, page five and page seven. So when we answer the question goes here on page five, Garnet and Cinderella talked about their division. What did the division have in common with on page seven? So we mentioned the common theme. We mentioned what's on page five and what's on page seven. So we give some evidence as well that there's lots of water, i.e., a waterfall and an ocean that both contain water. They're both thinking about water. Okay. Right, Cinderella said, I've got to get back to my precious ironing board. How can you tell that she really did not like ironing? So no shouting out, please. Let me quickly flip the text. <coughs> which page is the ironing on? Five. Page five. Page five. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Now, when you look back at the text, is everybody looking at their text? Yeah. Page 5. 
And he goes there. I've got to get back to my precious ironing board, said something like grim, grimly. Like grimly like making it like a, not, not laughing, but to make kind of like a, some, like a smile on your face. Okay. Well, she really wants to do the ironing. When you do the ironing, what does the ironing make you feel? The ironing on its own, I know that. The ironing makes you hot, and it was already very hot. So she was being, what do you call it? She's like saying, sarcasm. She was being sarcastic. She didn't like it at all. She is the opposite. She hated it. She didn't want to do it. But she said grimly. So, let's go back to the text quickly. Okay, so. Packing tells that she was going to like ironing. She was there, Centrola. Ironing will make make her even more hot. She was being she being sarcastic. I haven't met anybody likes doing ironing. Look, can you see everything? Yeah. Even this part here. Yeah. Right, okay. Are you happy with that answer? Have you found the answer? Have you interpreted it? She's, it's a hot day. She's saying it, but she's not really meaning it. So for example, the weather's outside really nice and warm. And my use of dumps are oh yes, I gotta go home now to do my homework. Meaning I would like to rather go outside and play. Okay, lovely. Let's move down to So when Garnet's mother heard that they had received bills in the post, she only said, Oh, what do you think the mother was thinking at that point on page five? Write her thought in this thought bubble. <coughs> right. First of all, they're on a farm. Oh, she gave me one thought that she had one thought, one. Go on, move. Oh, she's like, uh, sad. So why is it? Bills. Okay, so the bills made her feel what? Sad. Sad. Made her feel depressed. <laughs> she was depressed. Why is she de depressed? Because you need money. Because there's no money. They don't have any money. They need the money. Where is the money from? The crops. The crops. The crops. The crops. There's no rain. So crops, they needed rain. Okay, so she's depressed. There was no release from the heat. It was still too hot. Everybody was uncomfortable. She was depressed because there's no money. The crops need the rain and then that would pay thee. Okay, so. What do the mother was thinking at the point on page five? Write her thoughts in the thought bubble. What do we start with? Okay. Oh no. Okay. So that's the first part. Oh no, bills. What do we need first? So she's thinking. We need the rain to come. So the crops can. Grow. What are you going to do after the crops grow? 
sell the crops. So, from the sale of the crops, They're in a vicious cycle. They got all these bills, they got crops, but the crops are about to die because it needs more water to make them grow fully. Okay, now they hit the bills. So, what another thing she's thinking about, oh no, bills, if I give this bad news to my husband, he will feel upset all night. Yeah? I sit down and go to sleep. Keep my husband all night. All night what? What's that word? All night. Worrying. Okay. So the bills just depressed, not enough money, crops need to rain, the rain will then give them the money to pay the bills. So it's a cycle things. They need to rain first. Okay. So in the cold room, Garnet shivered when she dipped her arms in the water. Right, which part of the text are we talking about? Which page are we on now? Page number? Uh, six. six. Okay. Page six. Number six. Okay, so who's found the father text? It's about the water dipping. She knelt down and plunged both her arms in the water. It was cloudy with spilled milk, but with ice cold, she could feel coolness spread through her veins and a little shiver ran over her. So what was it? So upstairs it's burning hot in the house, burning hot outside. She goes down and she touches there. What did she feel? She felt what? Cold and relief. She felt relief. Cool. It was pleasant. So let's flick back. In the cold room, Garner shivered when she dipped her arms in the water. Why? She felt what? What did she feel? <coughs> she felt instant pleasure. Okay, so it's given a different feeling. She was all hot. So the feeling of being hot had vanished. She was very happy in that situation.
Okay, done. Now, when the father came back, he said, what a day, and then he said one more like this. Why did Ghana's father leave this sentence on page 7 unfinished? He said, what a day, he's about to say some like bad things. Oh, look, it hasn't rained again, it's going to fail, and it's going to happen, we're going to be destroyed financially. Why did he leave the sentence on page 7 unfinished? Everybody think. Why did he leave it unfinished? Did everybody know the rest of the sentence? Yeah, everybody else knew what he was going to say next. But he kept quiet, why? Because he just wanted to keep things calm. He didn't want to make things worse. When you come home and you can't start talking, about something really bad. And you talk about it, you make everybody else scared as well. Yeah, so he wanted to keep everybody calm. Yeah, you happy with that? Upset in light of what? In light of the difficult, the in light of the difficult situation they're in. Move forward, so move forward as well. Move forward. So make sure you black. Just move across the table, go across. So you get a better angle. You got a better angle there? Good. So this was, so the rest of the family does not panic and get upset. Obviously the father comes home and his heart has been in some work somewhere. The bills are landing, they're hiding the bills. So it hasn't rained, they need the money to pay the bills. Everything's really upsetting. We need rain first, then the crops, then the bills. So he didn't want to create everybody else. Everybody else all upset. Oh no, Dad won't be paying the bills. What's going to happen to the house? We're going to be thrown out of the house. We won't be paying our bills. Yeah, it's worrying. We kept quiet. Okay, are we happy with all that? Let's move on to the next question. Everybody look at the next question. It was too hot to eat. Why is this short sentence on page so effective? Okay, I want some ideas please. What? 
it was so hot and uncomfortable they couldn't even do the normal daily task of eating. They couldn't bother to eat. Is that how hot it was? It's very uncomfortable. So that quickly tells us. Everyone was so hot and uncomfortable and just sums up the mood straight away. It was that hot, it was that uncomfortable. It quickly tells how everyone, everyone felt. It was so hot and uncomfortable that they couldn't even eat. Okay, in the question number 40, we will discuss this, discuss this one. It's a three mark question. They want you just to just explain a bit more what we discussed earlier about the crops. First of all, when the rain comes, what's the first thing that happens? Forget the crops for the moment. What are the people feeling? They are feeling very annoyed. hot and annoyed. They're annoyed with the heat. So what will the rain bring first? Well, it will bring them nice and coolness. It will change the, the temperature. So first of all, the rain will instantly change the temperature, make everything nice and cool and comfortable. So the family will feel cool. And refreshed. So the, the, when the rain descends, the temperature changes. Some the family will feel instantly cool and refreshed. That's the first thing. That okay, that's how they will feel. What will the rain mean for them? So when the rain comes, what happens? What's outside in the the crops will grow. So now, be able to grow. Okay, and their father can then harvest for the family, obviously it's a family job, family business. The family can harvest the crops. When you harvest the crop, what I mean? Harvest means cutting it, bagging it, taking it to market, and getting the money. That's what it means. And harvest the crops. Okay. So the money they get from the from the crops, the money raised or generated, money raised from the sale of the crop. what will enable facilitate so will enable the bills to be paid <coughs> can we happy with the answer have we given enough detail you talk about their personal feeling, their feeling for the crops, they can generate money, they can pay the bills, and the family will be safe. Calm of under. So the family will be happy. Happy. And
been saved from the mouth of destruction, yeah? Or saved from the brink of destruction. And saved. So they could have lost everything. Next question, it goes, how can you tell? Okay, first, does everybody copy all that down? Yeah. Is my, you got it all down? Good. No, right. this cleans up better. Can you tell the story was set a long time ago? Let's look at the text. I want somebody to give me evidence from the text and point to each page. Don't give me the answer. Just say, oh, this is the answer. Tell me by looking at the reading booklet if you find a piece of evidence. So, since of the ironing, the ironing people do ironing in old ages. Okay? A play, a bigger train, and that's not to do there. Everybody gets bills, whether it's this time or a long time ago. So you got stick two, which two have you got left with? They use candles in the bedroom. What page is that on? Mm. What page is on? Um, seven. Page? Seven. Page seven, which paragraph? Third. Oh, but, uh, one. Third. Third paragraph? Mm -hmm. They stored food in the cold. No, the second one. Uh, what page is that on? Page seven. Page seven, page seven as well? What do we have instead of a cold room? We have a <coughs> fridge. Okay, what do we have instead of candles in the bedrooms? Lights. Lights. Electrical lighting, yeah? Okay, right. So you should tick those two boxes. We're just going to quickly move on. So I need to move the whole thing up. Come on. Come on. And we just move the board up. The board moving up. It's our board. Okay, go a bit too much. Down a bit, please. Down. Down a bit. Down a bit, please. Uh, okay, but, ah, stop there. It was match the events below to show what purpose they have in the story. So no rain for weeks was a bad start. When the bills arrive, what happens then? The situation is getting worse. Number one, there's no rain, and on top of that, the bills arriving, which we need the rain to pay for them. So Garnet dreams of being on the ocean. What? Yes. Okay, when the rain comes, the family's problems seem to be over because the rain is the missing ingredient or the missing part of the formula to make everything work. Okay, that's what that. We quickly go on to the next question. Section 2, question number 17. Take two bad effects of the rain in the first poem. Now they're talking about the poem. But it's where we are. So the poem should be this section here. Rain and rain in summer. That's the next part of the booklet. That is page 8 and page 9. Okay. Right. Talking about the poem. Okay. Take two bad effects of the rain in the first poem. In the first poem, the person sitting by the window it seems to be a very negative poem. It doesn't like rain. Yes. So take two back of rain in the first poem. It keeps you indoors, is that? Yeah. Yes. And Waterfalls on this one, that's not really bad. 
Dulled your imagination? Yeah. Yes. It's making him feel depressed. What do you mean by dulled your imagination? Your hair gets wet, that's not mentioned, and the air cools, and that's not mentioned. So it's those two things, definitely. What did the poet do while it was raining? So, what we are looking at now is page 8. Let's quickly flick through our... Let's quickly flick through this, and go down. Okay, in the text... The question says, <clears throat> what did the poet do while it was raining? So what? The lights are all on, though it's past midday. There are, mo no, there are no more indoor games we can play. So what has he been doing? Playing, playing indoors. So he's been playing indoor games. That's what he's already been doing. And the question was, what did the poet do while it was raining? So he's been playing games. What else? A drawing on the window. So I draw a fish on the glass. Okay, and what else is he doing? So we are drawing a fish. Okay. He is? Stares at the window. Okay, he's standing at the window. Okay, what else is he doing? So he smashes bubbles and paper pulls into the drains. Clouds from other granddad's face. He's talking to his granddad. Granddad's talking to him. It's a conversation with granddad. Okay, let's flick it back to the, to the tab. Okay. Now we wrote a couple of things, how many things do they want? Two. two things. So let's write down two of those things down there. So for number one, number two, you did it? Mm. Write down any of those four things, actually more than four things, probably about six, seven things that was done. <coughs> so he stayed inside one of them. He just sits there. It's another one. Okay. Mr. Idris, have you got that down? What, any one of those four points? You should have got that down. Are you happy with those four points? Yeah? Got it from the text. He's answered off my head from the text. <coughs> okay, let's take it up, please. Okay, small board working much for some assistance. Question number 19. Oh, actually, it's small to put together. In each verse, all the lines end with the same rhyme. Okay. Right. And the rain one, what's, what's at the end? <coughs> okay, we have chin. That's been grin, fin, within. What does it end in? End. In, in, in. 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 So what does, it, what does it give us? It makes the poem sound very dull. dull. Yeah, it just puts like a dull effect. The words are very uninteresting. Yeah? How does it add to the meaning? It makes the poem top it being the rain sound very dull. Dull and depressing. Yeah? That's how he's feeling. Them the kind of words that he's using. Yeah, dust bin, green, thin, trains. He's feeling depressed, he's feeling miserable. Okay. Right, have you got that down from the board? From the board, folks? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Ah, that's it. I'm done. That's gone. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's my fault. I'm mad. Bring back down. Yeah, that's it. Lovely. Just stop there. Okay. These questions are about the poem Rain in Summer. So, Rain in Summer. <coughs> Is that one? Okay. What page are we going to look at here? Rain in Summer. What page is it? Nine. Page 9. Everybody should be looking at page 9. Thank you. Later.
So why does the boy think rain is beautiful and nice, right? right? The answer to that question is you've got to look at right at the beginning of the first line of the text. So, if we quickly... If we go down to the next one... Okay. Because how, how beautiful is the rain after the dust and the heat? So the rain has come at the end of a what kind of day? A hot and dusty day. So why is it beautiful? It's bringing relief and release from the heat. It's coolness. Okay? Say there, why does the boy think it is beautiful? Because it has been hot and dusty, so the rain has brought release and relief. Okay, sister, uh, let's flick to the other tab. Inshallah, smart board. Okay, so why does the boy think the rain is beautiful? So the rain, I think this is the wrong color. I don't think it's so. I said, smash the place up. Okay, you check it, on the right, everything all over there. Yeah. Okay, we're over this, we are on page. Yeah, Habibi. Where have you been? I just think I've been. Yeah. Question number 20. The point. The rain has come. After a hot and dusty day. It has It has bought heat It has bought relief and coolness Okay? The rain has come after a hot and dusty day Of course it's cool, it feels beautiful It's refreshing Okay you all got that done? No. Yeah. Come on, quickly. Idris, you got that? Yeah. Mr. Yusuf? Mr. Ismail? Yeah, Habibi, you got that? Good. Okay. Okay, question number 21. Why do you think the poet chooses the word clatters and tramp of hooves to describe the sound of the rain? So when the rain lands, it lands with quite a third and a bit lot of uh, weight, okay? Because the rain is loud, it's heavy, it's loud on the roof. Okay. Okay. 
So that word there clatters and tramp of hooves just to explain the loudness of the rain. To describe how loud the rain is when it hits the roofs of the houses. Mama, tell you. Okay, question number 22. What is the main purpose of the second verse? Small was working by itself. So small. <laughs> Super small board. Okay. I'm just going to refocus there. Over there. Lovely, good, smart book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is the main purpose of the second verse of the poem? The second verse of the poem is. Right, second verse. So look at the one rain in summer. Okay. How it gushes and struggles out from the depth. From the throat of the thingy, what is it showing? So let's quickly flick to the. Okay. Second verse. First verse, second verse. Okay. What is when it gushes, struggles? Okay, across when it pulls and pulls. Okay. And swift and wide, it river down the gutter rolls. What is it showing us here now? Is it showing to create a picture of the way that rain moves? Moves, yes. These are all words to show movement. Okay? So to show movement, let's go back, please, to our text. So the answer will be the? First one. First one. Excellent. To create a picture of the way the rain moves, all the words describe movement of the rain. Okay, question number 23. Okay, uh, how far are we now for the end of the paper? Really finish? Okay, question number 23. Explain how each poet gives a different feeling about the rain. You need to think about the effect of the rain on the writer, how the rain is described. Okay, so the first poem. Okay, in the first poem, what's the writer thing in the first poem? So the writer. What does the rain make the writer? What's it actually stopping him? It stops him going outside. He feels stuck inside. He's, what's he thinking about? Is he depressed? I've got nothing to do. I'm bored. Yes, he's got lots and lots of negative feelings. So the writer in the first poem has been trapped indoors. By the rain. So what do you say? There's no more games to play, yeah? So he's bored, yeah? He is bored. Oh, indoor games. Okay. Everybody looks back at the text, the rain one. There's board of indoor games. It's grey outside, inside me it's grey. What does he feel? What does he feel? Because it's grey outside, it's grey inside me, so he feels what? Feels... He feels upset, depressed. The right of the first one has been trapped in, indoors by the rain. He is bored of indoor games. He feels... Depressed inside. Okay, because it says that he goes here, yeah, inside me it's grey. Inside me it's grey. Okay. Okay, have you explained the first person's feelings? So the writer in the first poem has been trapped indoors by the rain. He doesn't like it at all. He wants to go outside. 
He's bored of the little games. He's bored now as well. He feels depressed inside and he's dreaming of actually going outside. Yeah? Okay, let's write about the second writer. Now the second writer, how does he feel? The second writer feels happy. Happy, and what's the word which we use a few times today? Relieved that the rain has come at the end of a hot and dusty day. Yeah? Relieved that the rain has come yeah, after such a hot and dusty day. So the first one has no value for the rain. It doesn't give any, any credit. The second one, the rain is needed. Yeah, he thinks the rain is an inconvenience. The rain The rain is appreciated after such a hot and dusty day, the rain is appreciated. Yeah? Okay, how does the second point make you feel? How does it make you feel when you read it? He's happy, makes you feel? Happy. The first one is depressing, makes you depressed. The point makes you feel happy. So this point makes me, the reader, feel happy. Appreciated. No, the top of that. After such a hot and dusty day. Feel happy. The first point made me depressed. On the writer and how the rain is described. So the first one, the, the person feels depressed. Second one, the person feels happy. And described it. That's all we need now to give us the maximum three marks. Okay, we got all that down, folks. All done. Uh, and we're just gonna make that. The, okay, that's just a, Smart board, mashallah, is working very good today. Got the latest wireless Wi Fi smart board technology. It's called normally have Wi Fi, we got Zara Fi. Okay, it's a new technology. Okay, look at the weather forecast for Friday, 16th of May. Now we've moved to the last part of the booklet. No, 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 no. So everybody, can you all please look at these two pages of the booklet? We need to be looking at the booklet. I want to see everybody looking, trying to find the answers. Nobody should be waiting for the answers. Look for the answers. Now, you found it? Okay, yeah, found it. found it. Okay, right. Question number 24. Look at the weather forecast for Friday, 16th of May. At what time of day will it be the hottest? The question number 24. Okay, right. Uh, Let's have, okay, Yusuf, at what time? Yeah. You, uh, Yusuf, what time will be the hottest according to the chart? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. So we can write 6 p.m. We can write all 1800 hours or six o'clock. In the answer, dear. Lovely. Okay.
it goes fine two ways in this chart has been made easy to read so can I just quickly flick the chart just quickly Okay. 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 Well, stop there. Thank you. Technology is working. You heard of you heard of Wi-Fi and this is Wi-Fi. Okay. Latest technology. Okay. What is, is the question saying here? Find two ways that this chart, okay, has been made easy to read. What have they used? What do you call these little things here? Yeah, symbols, yeah. So we've got symbols, what else we got? Diagram. Symbols. Um, okay. A map. We got pictures. Okay. And we got times, times in order, chronological order. Okay. We got temperatures here as well. So it's giving us lots of information very quickly, very easily. Okay. Uh, now we're just going to quickly flip to the next uh, tab over here. <laughs> Technology is working really nice. Okay, so find two ways this chart will be made easy to read. So what's the one the first thing you're going to write? So it's chron that's a C. It's chronological order. So you've got times given, it's like a, like a diary entry. It's giving you the times of the day. Okay. What do we see also? We have symbols and diagrams. Yeah. Pictures and small. Okay, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's kind of slow because. Okay, it's working. Needs calibrating. Okay, so use of symbols and colors. What different colors for the different temperatures? Okay, so we've got symbols on there. What are the symbols? We've got the moon symbol and the sun symbol. Yeah. Okay, question number 25. That's nice, two quick ones. Get that down, please, folks. Why does the forecast show the weather at several different times on Friday? What do people use the forecast? They use it to plan their day. When they're going to go out, when they're going to come back, it's going to be warm, go out at the hot time, come back at the cool time. Is in the rain, come back, take an umbrella with you. So people can use it to plan the day. Can use what? Can use the what are they giving you? Information. Information. That's what a lot of people use the forecast for to plan the day. What they're going to do in that day. Okay. I'm going to check how many minutes we've got left for the video. Right. Quickly on that. Ooh, we've only got 17 minutes left. Okay, we've only got 17 minutes left of the recording time. Let's see if we can finish this in another 17 minutes, yes? Otherwise, the video will then go over into two videos. And then inshallah, tonight when you go home, you'll find the video on, on YouTube and you can go through it again, inshallah. Okay, complete the table below showing you where and when weather records were set. Now, everybody should be looking at these two pages, looking at these two pages for the information, not listening for the answers, looking at the pages. Okay, those two pages, right. So we have to look. So that one there, Prima. Okay, right, are you looking at that one? What happened there? Lowest ever. Lowest ever. I'm trying to put the small board back down a bit. <laughs> uh, that's all do. It's the lowest ever temperature recorded. Okay, for so all you watching at home on YouTube, sorry about this technology needs calibrating. Okay, it's the lowest temperature. Now, next one. 
Let's have a... Uh, Umber. Umber. Brogadale. What was that famous for? What was what happened that day? Would they have the... The highest. Highest temperature recorded. Now, what was the date for the Brogadale one? What date is it happening? Okay, Mr. Fahmi, 2003. MashaAllah, Mr. Fahmi coming late, but he's giving me some good answers. Okay, when was the heaviest rainfall in a year? What place and what was the date according to our booklet? Rokeya, happened in? So the heaviest rainfall happened in which place? What's the name of the place? It happened in? Sprinkling. Sprinkling. What was it? Sprinkling Torn? Yes, Sprinkling Torn. Torn. Okay. And what was the year for that Sprinkling Torn? Let's have somebody else. Mr. Dries. Mr. Dries, when, when did that happen? Uh, Quickly, Mr. Yusuf. 1954. Mashallah, well done, Mr. Yusuf, 1954. Okay. So it's not just all looks. We still got some brains as well. And that's how the, the room. Mashallah. Okay. The longest drought. Longest drought does have a uh, Hafsa. Hafsa, longest drought is Sussex. Okay, according to the book, we look at the book. Okay, let's, uh, let's, um, we should have got all that down. And we're just going to use a small board to, uh, to move the page up uh, and it's, and it's, oh, the lab. It's working. The smart Zi Fi technology is working. Okay, what's your deem large best Yorkshire hold the record for the heaviest downpour? That's all the information there. Copy the one word which shows we do not know exactly how much water falls in a thunderstorm. Let's have Rukaya. Estimated. Estimated. Well done. The word estimated shows us that we don't know we do not know exactly. It's roughly. Okay, well done. Because copy the information that shows that an exact measurement was taken. Let's have Umbar. Come on. Okay. Okay, hold the record for the heavy damper or was going to use exact measurements. We can actually give the actual measurements have. Okay. So we got 193 millimeters or even record, good. <coughs> okay, right, question number two is we can leave it at the bottom for the moment because it's going to... For Sussex, the writer could have written there was no rain, but instead wrote not a single drop of rain fell. What was the point of writing not a single drop? What does that indicate to us? Okay, let's have Mr. Idris. Does it indicate that it was... Hot? What's he doing? He's, he's emphasizing, he's oh. trying to make a point not a single drop of rainfall, it was very dry, okay? So he's emphasizing. Okay, for the question number 28, what are we gonna write down? Okay, so it adds drama to the text. It highlights how very dry it was. So there's a lot of emphasis there. So it's more dramatic, shocking, and desperate. So it creates a bigger impact. So it makes you feel, oh my god, it was really that dry? Okay. Question 28 is done. And we need to quickly finish this paper. Otherwise, our SD card that's recording this will run out of memory and we will lose the video. Okay. Are we happy with all the answers, folks? Mm -hmm. All got that? Yeah? No. Come on. Why don't you use a cleaner one? No, that's not bad. It's alright. Don't 
Okay, in the fact boxes on page 10, some of the text stands out because it is in bold print. Okay, why is it in bold print? Nice and easy, that's giving us what? To show the main point. The name of the? Name of the city. Area. It gives us the name of the places that they're talking about. Simple. That's why it's bold. So it highlights that part. Okay, done. Next question. Question number. Thirty. Thirty. Okay, smart board. Oh. See when I'm rubbing someone up, Smart board's very Smart board's going up and down. <laughs> I'm thinking more, please. Some of the text in the booklet shows rain as good, others as bad. The hottest day story, what's that telling us? What's the conclusion that rain is? Good. Good. The rain poem. Bad. Humber. Bad. Bad. Rain in summer. Okay, let's have somebody on this side. Mr. Adam. Come on, Mr. Adam. The rain in summer poem. Rain in summer. It shows us that the rain is good. good. Well done, Yusuf, thank you. Okay, rain and shine in Britain information. <coughs> that is just giving us facts. Good. Look at all places on page 10 and 11, which, which place could have given the idea for the point rain on page 8. So now we're looking at the last two pages of the booklet. And we're now looking at which one of those places mentioned could, could have given us the poem, Rain, where he's depressed a lot of rain. So which place should we choose? Uh, which place a lot of rain? Umber? Brainier. Okay, so we can have one. Walshaw. Dean. Okay. Walshaw, Dean. Lodge. Done. All the number. Thank you. Explain your choice. Why did you choose that one? Because it had that Okay, you have the heaviest downpour. Okay, also Dean Lodge, it had the, he had the most amount of rain. That could have given results of that poem rain, but he's depressed by too much rain. Okay, the board, let's move the board up. <laughs> Okay. This board is very sophisticated while I'm rubbing moves up, mashallah. Question. question number... Last question? Yeah. Okay, the board's going to be... Oh. Number 32. In this country, many of us dislike rain, astaghfirullah. Which of the texts in the booklet could make people have a more positive... Positive view of rain. Take the one you've chosen. Well, that won't give you positive rain. Rain So, which one was it? Rain in summer, wasn't it? Which one are we going to choose that the gives the positive view? The hottest day. The hottest day. Okay, why are you going to choose the hottest day? Um, it shows you how important rain is. We can't live without rain. We need to appreciate it. Bas, bas, bas. Okay. Okay. It takes the wrong one. Yeah, because you... No, we could... <laughs> the white board's moving. <laughs> okay. The hottest day is one good one to choose. The hottest day. Okay. Story. Shows us what? Shows us the what? Yeah, the great importance of rains of rain for us. Yeah, to feel cool 
air, have water to drink, and have water for crops. So with the rain, what do we get? So water to drink and have water for crops. And what does the crops mean? Money. Money. So the water, as with livelihood, water means that you need water to live, water to grow the food and water to make money. So water is needed to drink, or to drink for crops to grow. Oh, no. For crops to grow and to make and to make a living <coughs> from selling these crops. From selling these crops. Selling these crops. Selling these crops. Thank you, Mr. Yusuf. Selling these crops. Okay? So, the hottest day story shows us the great importance of rain for us to feel cool, have water to drink, and have water for crops. Water needed to drink for crops to grow and to make a living from selling these crops. Okay. This last part here sounds like too much of a repetition. Okay, you might write this down. I'm going to. I'll read out this last part here. Yeah. So what did you read down? I'm going to write down one extra part. So cool, have water to drink and have water for crops. The crops can be sold. Can be sold to earn a living. So without water we can't survive. That water, we can't spoil. Okay. Right. You finish? Yeah. Okay. That's the end of that 2008 paper. Just quickly. Finish the path on a road. I'm going to find the mouse. It's a small water. It's a small water. It's a small water. Okay, so that is the end of our 2008 English Sats Recap. I hope you've benefited from this session and you can look at this video later on on YouTube.